So here's how you can create an assignment, have students turn it in as a PDF, and grade it and return the PDF. We're going to go to Assignments, click Add an Assignment. I'm going to say it's a practice assignment for right now. You can add any description you want. Uh, let's say this would be a link to something in Google Drive. So I come here. This is not a test, but I'm just pretending it's a test. I can get the shareable link, come back here, and then students would go there, and that would be the link that would be to some assignment or assessment that they had to do. Uh, for me right now, I would, I'm would i not using the grading book in Canvas, so I'm going to say for zero points. I'm going to assign a complete and incomplete, sort of like pass and fail. Do not count this assessment towards the final grade. Now I'm going to choose submission type online and file upload so they can upload a PDF. Uh, I'm going to assign it to everyone. And I could assign a due date if I want to. For right now, I'm not. And I press Save. So now I have some sort of practice assignment there. That will show up for students. When they go to assignments, they will see something called practice assignment. That might be Chapter 5 uh, formative assessment instead. That might be what it's called. Now let me go to click on assignments as the teacher. And I've created double of these. So now I'm going to go to practice assignment, click on that, and I'm going to click on speed grader. When I go to speed grader, it says a student's name here, but if I keep clicking to the right, none of these students have submitted anything. But when I get to, thank you, Jeff Glitch, when I get to a student named Mickey Mouse, I see this submission right here. Now what I can do is I can download that and I've downloaded it here. So I can open this up in a folder or I can show it in a folder. I'm going to open it with, I actually like Microsoft Edge because in Microsoft Edge, I can add notes. If you have an iPad, you can then use the stylus to click on um, I've readjusted the window, click on add notes, and then you can say something like once once I have add notes, you can click on this. And I can choose whatever color I want and whatever thickness I want. And then I can say here, uh, nice annotation. Whatever you want. You could have instead printed it out and written on it, handwritten on it and created a PDF. But at any rate, now this is a PDF. So I can save as, and I can call this, Jeff's homework and save it. I've already done this in advance, so I'm not going to do that right now. So then when I get back to here, um, I can say, uh, I can add a comment. There's a comment field. I've already done it in advance. But I can add a comment like, nice job. And then when I click here, I can do a file attachment. And I can go to wherever, um, choose a file. I can go to wherever that was, like Jeff's homework, graded, and hit OK, open, whatever, and submit it. And when I do, then Jeff's homework will appear there. Hopefully this makes sense. If you have questions, I'd be glad to answer. When the student opens this up, they will go to 
assessments, they will go to that very same assessment. And what's nice for them is only they will show up for themselves. Of course, they'll see this, they can click on it, open it, and they'll get their feedback with a short comment. Hopefully that's helpful.